Last year, more than 1,950 Pennsylvanians were murdered or took their lives with a firearm. We are part of the solution. The community is part of the solution. Inaction is not an option. And my heart was crushed, I mean really crushed, the way my son was brutally murdered. So I, I lost my boyfriend, Talbert Jackson, to murder. If you came here tonight for Nick, thank you. But you're also here for James, and you're here for all the victims. I share this story because that could have been prevented. In September, we had a tragic mass shooting here at Roxborough High School. And in addition to the fact that children were shot, one child, Nicholas Elizadi, was murdered. So our first town hall was about gun violence and talking about what are some of the potential interventions that we can do at the state level. We know that if we had background checks on ammunition, the ammo might not have been bought that was used to take Nick's life. We had experts from, from Ceasefire come out. We had on our panel the, some, some of the families of, of the gun violence victims, including N Nicholas Elizalde's mother, Meredith. Tonight I came here to talk about Nick's life and what we can do together. So we talked about some very specific things like promoting green spaces, funding schools, making sure that we're funding mental health resources for our schools. But you all know best, really, what it is that you need. We also talked about very specific things that we could do to help curb some of these issues of, of gun violence, like red flag laws, um, also uh, extreme risks, risk protection orders. So um, this is something that I'm gonna be working on with my colleagues in the house uh, so we can move the needle on uh, preventing further issues of gun violence in our community. What I've learned from this past and implore you all to do is to open your eyes, be human, dream lucid. Thank you all for being here, I appreciate it.